morning guys Wiley here and today you join us for Bambox now I'm really really hoping that this month is better than last month's I mean to be honest with you if it's not they're gonna have a lot of stick uh, the theme for this was legends um, so I don't really know much about it I think there's a Star Wars thing in here maybe Did they uh, tease the Star Wars thing um, <clears throat> don't know much else they've been going on a lot about the um, anniversary box because it's the uh, one year anniversary next year okay so that's the spoiler book on top so it goes okay so we got paper I might have the pin first because you always have the pin first. Okay. Exclusive parody pin. Legends. Okay. I'll take it out of the. Uh... But the bear with me, my voice is a bit scratchy this morning. <coughs> Didn't have a very good night's sleep again. So we've got looks like a Captain America pin saying "Hey girl." That's pretty cool. I quite like that. It's not a bad pin. That's quite good. It's not a bad start. So next item. So we got maybe comics. What's this? Okay, we got like a little pouch. Oh, nice. These are nice. Oh, now these are really nice. They look like letter openers. I'll have to have a look in the spoiler to see what they're from. I do recognize them actually. But off the top of my head, I don't know. So we got these two really cool letter openers. They're really cool. I really like them. They're metal. I like them. They're cool. But they're different. I like them. Maybe one's Excalibur. Legendary Swords, Excalibur maybe. I'll have a look in the, the spoiler book. It'll tell me in the spoiler book. But I like them, they're cool. I like the little pouch it comes in as well. Um, I just, that's cool. So, two for two is quite good at the minute. So, so far it's better than last month's. So, that's pretty good. I like that pouch. Next item. Here's like a So, ah, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> I can't get away from this bloody thing. I can't get away from this uh, comic. I've had this, I've had this comic about three or four times now. The only difference about this one is, is that it's the black and white variant edition. Sorry, but there you go. Fade it down. Like I said, there's the uh, certificate for to see. I'm not going to be keeping that. I'll see if I can stick that on eBay. Or if there's anybody out there that wants it, hit me up. Because I ain't too bothered. Like I said, I'm sick and tired of the bloody thing. Next, there's another comic. There we go. Amy Chu, whatever Amy Chu is. Dynamite Entertainment has issued a certificate of us to this copy of Red Sonia Oban Box Exclusive Edition as one of a specially limited series of copies signed by Amy Chu, whoever Amy Chu is. Oban Box Exclusive. Ah, Amy Chu is the one who wrote it, maybe? So we got a Red Sonia comic. 
number zero, signed. Again, I guess I'm not too bothered about comics. So if anybody wants this, hit me up. We'll do a trade, no problem. I think that may be the last thing. That was a couple more things. The prints. Oh, that's pretty nice, I like that. What's that saying there? It doesn't say. That's a really nice print. I really like that, and it's signed as well to see what it says in the, uh, what you call it, but that's a really nice print. I like that print. That's a really nice print. The boys will have, I'll give that to the boys. I don't know where to put it. I think this is the last thing. Let's check. Yeah. Last thing is... Oh, don't, please don't say it's another bloody cosplayer. Oh, if this is another cosplayer, I'm going to be mad. If this is another cosplayer... There we go, we got that print and it's signed. I have no idea who she is, I don't know who this guy is either. No, this guy is either. But if this is another cosplaying print, I tell you what, I am happy. And that's everything. So it looks like from now on they're gonna be doing that with all the boxes, so. Okay, where's the spoiler book? So we got basically the pin, the knives, the sword to call, two comics, and two prints. I am I'm not I'm not impressed. I'm really not. So my friends, what have we got? Oh, it's Nick Nick Kokoza again. So, he's back again, we had some fun ideas for this one's pin. Hey, new Nick with the artist to pull it off. Most will get the Hey Girl or Winter is Coming pins, but watch out for the limited edition set popping up in boxes. You got the high drawn. I, I don't know whether I, I mean, it's okay, but So limited edition Vader down one for dynamic, dynamic forces, limited to 5,000, so that's not very rare. Dynamic Force Private and Vader down one of DF exclusive by artist Oliver Cuppy. When Darth Vader actually finds himself facing off against a rebel fleet on his own, is the rebels will learn the true strength of the dark side of the force. Limited only 15,000 released, look for the black and white cover, limited for only 5,000. So I got the limited edition one, so it looks like I got a, that was a one up thing, I think. I think that's the black and white one. Yeah. So basically that's the limited edition one. So if anybody wants that, hit me up. Because I ain't bothered. If not, I'll stick it on eBay. Start your legendary set. That's what we're going to hear. Every legend begins with a story. And every story involves a person, most per often encountering some of the pale, whether on their own or part of a team, they are forced to decision and decision either act of bravery, they become a legend. Right. So it doesn't tell you what they are. It doesn't tell you what they are, so what sort of they are. Well, that's a bit naff. So it looks like you could have either had the two swords that I got, or them two things. I'm glad I got them instead of them, because that would have been crap. Um, Galactic Samurai Art Print, Bambox exclusive, signed and numbered. This month features an amazing artist, Brian Reedy. Reedy is a Miami-based artist who specializes in wooden prints. 
We wanted to bring some look and feel amongst the band box with a unique style. He mashed Face and Samurai together. You will see one of the four possible prints. There are two colour versions and one black and white and two black and white versions. The black and white versions are limited to 500 each. Ready to work. Ready to work. So I got a colour one. But which colour one? I got that colour one, so I got that one, and you could have had the black and white one, oh, sorry, you could have had the black and white one, or the, I'm not bothered about that, um, Mike, if you haven't got this one, and you want it, hit me up, you can have it, that's no problem, I'll give you first refusals, you might already have it, but if you don't, hit me up and you can have it, that's no problem. Right, there we go. Now, this is the one they've been going on about the most. They've been bigging up Anniversary. I mean, I'm really disappointed again with this box. I'm really disappointed with it. I mean, it's not worth... The money's not there. I mean... Yeah, okay, I've got a limited edition one, but it's a comic book, and I ain't bothered about comic books. You know, where's the collectibles? You know, that's, that's what they said they were going to put in the box. Where's the collectibles? You know, where's the figures or the statues or whatever? So anyway. Right. Okay. The band box next month's theme is anniversary. Don't miss the most epic band box yet. Hmm. We are celebrating our one year anniversary and to say thank you to everyone we're going to bring back some of your favourite items and artists. This month's print will feature favourite artists Rocky Davis and Chris Munger. Rocky Davis is pretty cool. The one of a kind animations will make their appearance in this box, so okay. But this time actual cells from Zary Show, so okay. Uh, we have some other items going in as well. Uh, oh, I also forgot. We had a couple of really special studio quality hockey masks made just for this box to be signed. I think it's safe to say the item everyone loved in the most of the last year was the Ari Lehman signed hockey marks. It's, it's, is it possible to improve on that item? We'd have to wait and see. Now I saw a video now and I'm pretty sure that Adam said that we get one of them masks in every box. That's what he said in the video. I mean, I'm going to have to watch the video back, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Now if that's true, that's awesome. Let me carry on. Uh, Red Sonia Signed by writer Amy Chu. My very own Lewis Devil with a sword faces a whole different world and challenges this adventure. Yes, that's the Red Sonya one. And apparently that's Sarah Gray who plays Stargirl from Legends of Tomorrow. I haven't watched Legends of Tomorrow. It's on the list, so I don't know who she is. We have to be honest, the Golden Age superhero known as the GS, JSA, Justice Society of America, appearing in DC's Legends of Tomorrow was one of the things we were most excited about in TV season. For those who are not familiar with the JSA, or wondering if it's the same as the JLA, there are some really great articles if you find da -da -da -da. So, as you can imagine, we got excited with Sarah Gray, who I don't even know who the hell she is, and she plays Stargirl. Don't know who Stargirl is, I've never seen her before. She looks more like Miss Marvel, to be perfectly honest. Um... Oh, she's going to be in the Power Rangers film as well, as Amanda. Don't know, the head. Don't know who she is, so I ain't bothered about that. What's this? They're going to give away when this licensed and authentic decent reproduction of Andrel, the actual prop sword built by, oh, where to work? Oh, that's pretty cool. That'd be cool to have. That'd be cool. I don't know where to put it, but you can actually win Aragon's sword, so that's pretty cool. And that, my friends, is it. So, um, out of that box, I only liked the letter openers and, well, to be honest, I don't even know whether I like the pin or not. I mean, if Johnny hasn't got this one and he got the other one and he wants this, let me know. Um, because... I ain't too bothered. I mean, maybe we could do a trade for if you've got like a, 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 a double butcher vision pin or something. 
Um, like I said, if Mike hasn't got if the angry unboxing there, Mike hasn't got this print, then I can I'll gladly send it your way. That's no problem um, because I don't want it. And again, with the same with the comics, I ain't too bothered about the comics. So if anybody out there wants the comics, hit me up. No problem. I mean, this is the limited edition one. There's only 5,000 of these made. So if anybody wants it, hit me up. And the same with the Red Sonja, if anybody, I mean, nobody, nobody who got bomb back, bomb box. <laughs> nobody who got bomb box would want that because you've already got it. So, yeah, I mean, I was really... I was really hoping... I was really hoping that this box um, was going to redeem itself, to be perfectly honest. After the debacle of last last month, I was really hoping that this month they were going to knock it out of the park. And to be honest with you, I don't think they have. You know, I, I don't feel the value's there. I mean, it costs me $40 or something stupid to get this shipped to the UK. And the only thing I liked in this box were these nine, these, these, these letter openers. So they're not worth $40 you know um i think i'm gonna i'll get the um anniversary one and then i think i'm just gonna stop i think i'm not gonna get bambox again um because i don't know where is the collectible item where's like i said where's the statues or the figures or you know at the end of the day yeah okay there are people out there that like the prints and everything i mean mike you know he loves the prints Great, no problem. Put prints in there. Even put comics in there. But I mean, you know, they're, yeah, they're cool, but the letter openers. What? Well, you can't show them off. And I mean, if I'd have, I mean, my, my ones are lucky. I've got the really cool, you know, swords. If I'd have got the, the throwing, I'd have been really pissed. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not happy with this box. So that's Loot Crate I was not very happy with, and this one I wasn't very happy with. Um, you would have thought that after what happened with Nerd Block, you would have thought that they would have, you know, done something really like knocked it out of the park. I mean, to be honest with you though, they haven't, they didn't really big up this box. Not really, they, they, the only box they've been bigging up is the anniversary box. Well. That you know, yeah, that's great. But after what happened with the other box, with the last month's box, you would think that this month's box, they would sort of like make it awesome, you know, because a lot of people have left, and people, and now people are going to watch the videos, and they're going to see what stuff was in the vid, uh, see what stuff was in the box, and they're going to go, oh, "Thank God for that." I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't get that one. <coughs> I'm going to go and watch a couple of videos now of other people who received theirs and see what their opinion of it is. Um, like I said, I'm not impressed with this box. I don't like the pin, which I love pins. You know, if you know me, you know I love my pins. And I, I don't like it. I mean, it, it just looks naff. To be honest, I don't even know whether Johnny will like the pin. He might he might do because he loves his pins, but I don't know whether he will. I don't think he'll put it on his jacket. You know, I'll be very surprised if, if he's got this one or the winter one I mean if you got the, if I'd have had the shield one you know the, the the hydra one then yeah that would be cool because it you know looked pretty cool um but that that is it's just naff I don't even know I don't even get the power parody it doesn't even tell you in the thing what the parody is if anybody knows what the parody is can you tell me because I ain't got a clue all I know is it's supposed to be Captain America and he's going hey go I ain't got a clue. At least with the other one, it says winter is coming and it's the Winter Soldier and he's sort of got Jon Snow's um, jacket thing on. But no, I'm, I'm really, I mean, again, like, you know, the, the, if I knew the, if I'd been watching Legends of Tomorrow and I knew the one was, then I'd be mostly a little bit more, oh yeah, cool. But, you know, I haven't been watching it, so I don't know who she is. You know what? I, what you know? We, we've gone from having Linda Blair and Skeet Ulrich, you know, which was awesome, to having a cosplayer last month, and now we got some 
person in a bit part in Legends of Tomorrow, who I've never heard of. I've, I've never seen him in anything else. I mean, I'll have a look to see what else she was in, but I don't know who she is. Um, the value definitely wasn't there this month. I mean, it wasn't there last month, and this month, you know, <laughs> I, felt as, I feel as though 40 quid's just been flushed down the toilet, to be honest. I'm really disappointed with this box, you know, and I'll let Adam know as well. I'll message him on Facebook and just say, look, I'm not being funny, but this month was, was pretty naff again. Like I said, I'm gonna go and watch. Why do you move? I'm gonna go and watch the. Uh, come on, move. I'm gonna watch the other people. What? You know what? See what they thought of it. From the look of the uh, thumbnail, especially Mike's, um, he didn't look very happy, to be perfectly honest. So I don't know. But no, that was basically that was that was bam box for the month of December and like I said um, not impressed so yeah if you like the video drop me a like uh, hit me up with the comments down below I like reading the comments like I said if, if you know someone out there that wants the stuff that I've got let me know um, I'll watch a couple of videos and see what other people got and see if they want it I mean I am bothered about you know whatever to trade for whatever to be perfect honest I don't mind um, I, I, all I know is I, I don't want it so yeah like comment and, and subscribe if you haven't already um, I think the last bits and pieces now um, my classic crates on its way um, a horror block classic crate classic classic crate classic block is on its way um, no, um, horror block will most probably be next month because they're normally really late. <coughs> um, I'm really looking forward to Fry Crate. Um, don't know when that ships, but I'm really looking forward to Fry Crate. I'm really hoping. Well, no, I'm. I'm I think Fry Crate is going to be awesome. I think that's going to be the box of the month. Um, really looking forward to that. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all the unboxings I've got to come. So I've got three more boxes to do. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now guys, love you lots.